place was called Superla Spa. It was a full service establishment. Massage tables, lawn chairs, mud baths, etc. The explosion went off a little after three. A squad car was two blocks away when the place went up, so the fire department was able to respond within four minutes. Not that it helped. The place was fully engulfed by the time they arrived. They were just lucky to keep it contained to just... I didn't know there was a spa down here. The building's been here since the late 70s, but it's only been a spa since 98. The gentleman in the corner there is Pete Baja. His company owns the Perla Spa. I took his statement, but you'll want to follow up with him, too. Have you two met yet? Not officially. I'm Sarah Seidel. The team speaks very highly of you. You want to take that interview? This is the CSI tutorial. You can turn it off at any time by selecting the option on the tutorial window and enable it again from the options menu. The cursor is used to both navigate and to select. Moving it to the edges of the screen will rotate the camera. When the cursor moves over something, it will change based on the action that can be taken. An arrow means that you can change your viewpoint. A speech bubble will appear over the people with whom you can talk. Hi, Pedro Baja. Baja, like Baja, California. But call me Pete. Everyone does. Well, almost everyone. You in charge of this place, Pete? I'm the CEO of Miel LLC. It's less impressive than it sounds. It's basically a holding company for a few mom-and-pop style businesses that were worth rescuing when the original owners wanted out. The company owns Super La Spa what's left of it. To choose what to say, move the cursor over a topic icon and select it. We'll have to notify the claims adjuster when we've released the scene. Actually, this is kind of embarrassing, but the policy on this place has lapsed. You let the fire insurance on one of your businesses expire? It's complicated. We sent them a payment, but they said they didn't get it. Then they wanted us to pay a late fee and raise our premium. I mean, we've done business with them for years, and now they decide to penalize us over a little slip-up? You've just... I have some things I need to take care of. Here's my card, at least until the next board meeting. You can reach me at my office. Great job. You've found some evidence. Be sure to use your PDA to access the Evidence Viewer, so you can look at your findings up close. The PDA your objective is to change for the first time. Allows you to look get a over close case look at every piece of evidence you've collected at the top of your case file. It's it will give you an idea of what to do at next. each piece of evidence you find, as it may contain evidence itself. You can rotate around the evidence by selecting any part of it and moving the cursor in the direction you want it to turn. If the cursor changes to a toolbox, there is evidence to find. Your tool case consists of four main sections. Fingerprint tools, fluid detection tools, collection tools, and casting tools for making molds. Move the cursor over the type of tool you want to use and select it. Be sure to try and match the type of tool to the type of evidence you're trying to collect. The location icons represent the different places you can visit. New locations will open over the course of your investigation. Your thoroughness score has increased. You can get a higher thoroughness score by navigating to viewpoints in a location that you have not visited before. If this thing was on last night, we could have our ignition source.
It's hard to tell what this was. Not much left of it. Judging from the charring in the inside of the oven, it was in there for long enough to catch fire. It's almost like a timed fuse. That could indicate arson, but we'll need a lot more evidence to prove it. We should take samples of soot from all around this place to see if we can find traces of an accelerant. I think if we can get one more sample of soot after this one, we'll have enough. Some tools require you to hold the button down while moving the cursor over the area you wish to gathered soot from all over this place. Should be enough. We can't just pick that up. At any time, you can ask your CSI partner for his or her opinion about what you should do next. We need to figure out what caused this fire. If it's an accident, we won't have to do much more. <laughs> 